a lot of folks want to know, where do I get a free subject to agreement? That's a good question. Where do you get a free subject to agreement? You get a free subject to agreement at realestatewholesalersclub.com. What? What? That's right. Realestatewholesalersclub.com. You get a free subject to agreement. I want to, I want to draw a diagram here because I think this may help you understand. If we have a homeowner and you're doing a subject to deal, so here's the homeowner, all right, and you're here as a wholesaler and you've got it under contract with the homeowner subject to, and you bring in a buyer, give me a moment to draw the buyer. I'm a very, very intricate artist. If you're doing a subject to wholesale deal, the wholesaler here, he has a subject to agreement with the seller. So he has it under contract. Before he transfers the deed, he finds an end buyer, either a investor buyer or a retail buyer. And he lines up an assignment to close at the title company, just like an ugly house wholesaler would. The deed is going to transfer because it's subject to from the homeowner to the end buyers. The performance mortgage is going to be added on to the deed. Okay. They're still going to be paying the original mortgage as well. I mean, right, for the homeowner's original mortgage. So the end buyer is going to be still paying the, because it's subject to, they're going to be paying the homeowner's mortgage for them. But now they're also going to see on the deed a performance mortgage placed for $1. Now that's supposed to represent $1. Now the holder of the, the owner, you know, the, the person that I, uh, that, that, that is the technical lender here on the performance mortgage is going to remain the wholesaler. And he's going to have a performance mortgage for $1 that says that if these folks do not pay this guy's mortgage, it's an automatic default on this mortgage. And this guy can step right back in and take the deal back over. Woo! You might have to hit replay. You might have to hit replay. Okay. That is how you would set up a performance mortgage. Protect the seller by having the closing agent. Okay, now we're talking about selling your subject to deal to an investor or to a retail buyer, it doesn't matter. When you're selling off your deal, okay, you're, you're assigning it away. You're going to protect the homeowner by having the closing agent or title attorney prepare a performance mortgage for $1 in favor of your company. If the buyer defaults, you will be able to step in and protect the original seller's interest and foreclose on the property. The advantage is you'll have the house back to sell again, but the disadvantage is that you, in order to protect the seller, you may have to make some payments. All right, sharing screen here. If you go to realestatewholesalersclub.com or if you just hit that QR code right there that I just put in the top corner, you'll be able to go to the free course. This is the free Real Estate Wholesalers Club Transaction Engineer course. That's right. So it's not just one strategy. This is how you become a master of getting deals. And I don't think you need to master every strategy here. Every strategy, and I'm referring to all discount cash. This is discount cash. All, you know, like a wholesaler, ugly house wholesaler, discount cash. Subject to, we're going to dive into that here in just a moment. Wraparounds. Subject to seller carry back hybrids. How about setting up a contract for deed or installment for deed? Okay. Or land contract for some of you. 
How about setting up a lease option? Oh, that's my favorite. Okay, well, if you go to realestatewholesalersclub.com or if you go to shutupmoney.com and you put in your email address, it will take you to realestatewholesalersclub.com and you will be able to, from there, click the menu here, go to how to subject to, slide down and you can see there's a little video here where I explain the mechanics of subject to. There's a subject to example. There's the big question, everybody. Ding, 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 ding. Ask this question to see if this subject to strategy fits your homeowner lead. We do this for every strategy. Mr. Homeowner, if I were to take the house off your hands today, allowing you to walk away, would you allow us to continue making your mortgage payment for you right away? Download this strategy's agreements. Okay, here's an important note. With subject two, you're going to be using a title company or a closing attorney. There's no other way that you're going to be comfortable doing this. Okay? Or maybe it's possible. I don't know. You don't even think about doing it without it. All right? Because this is a title company or a closing attorney kind of thing. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to, and here's a video on a little bit more how to get the, the information put together and all that, but you're going to put the information together and give it to your title company or title closing attorney person. <clears throat> but if you click here, you can see there is a property information sheet. All right, this is very easy to fill out. This is for you to gather information so that you can begin to fill out paperwork and so your title closing person can also get this done. Property address, borrower's name, that's the borrower is the the borrower, the homeowner, because they're you're taking over the property subject to. You might not get their social security number. That's fine. All right. Do your best to get lending institution name. All of this, do your best. Okay. Do your best on the copies of the last statement or coupon book. Okay. Do your best on a copy of a promissory note or mortgage or whatever they may have that shows what they owe. Okay. Be, be be diligent to do your best, okay? And, and when I say do your best, don't half eh, don't halfway do it, okay? All right. So that's the info sheet. That's how you start gathering information from the about the deal and the homeowner. Now here's your purchase and sale agreement. Look how easy this is. This is very basic. One page. If you need anything more, your title company attorney or closing attorney will instruct you and help provide. But this here will subject to agreement will link you and the homeowner together. Look, look at the purchase price in consideration thereof buyer agrees to purchase price above described property for the sum of blank dollars. Okay. Now it's going to be, you know, approximately. So let's just go ahead and add that. Payable as follows subject to existing loans. Now, you're going to put the lender's name, the institution. You're going to put the approximate loan balance on and the day that they started the loan, okay? And you can fill out the rest of the agreement. All right, so this is the wording that it takes to do a subject to purchase price. All right, fill the rest of this out. And with the rest of the information packet here, the disclosure form, and the buyer's authorization, you're going to fill these out with the homeowner and you're going to turn these in okay, to your title company or closing attorney. All right. This is your this is the homeowners giving you and the title company permission to speak to the lender to find out information so that they can make this subject to and transfer deed work. Okay. So I hope that helps a lot. All right. But now there's more than this because we are going to get into tonight being a wholesaler because I'm a wholesaler. All right. And I feel like it's important to say too, that if you're trying to be a transaction engineer, you're going to use probably three strategies really almost exclusively. For example, I use lease purchase. I like contract for deed. I like subject to those are the three that I like. Okay. <clears throat> So I don't want you to have to master everything, but those are the three that I that I prefer. 
So if you follow in my footsteps, then I want you to use some of these agreements when you find yourself in a subject to scenario. Okay. All right. It sounds like a Silver Sun pickups song, a subject to scenario. All right. <laughs> I wish they would do that. That would be really, really, really cool. Okay, so I need to tell you now, though, that I have put together a special upgrade, and that is located on the Real Estate Wholesalers Club website, like we were talking before when I shared the screen. It, you can see it is a choice in the menu. Now, next to the module that we were just at, where you get the free, you can contract your homeowner for free, you know, get the free agreements, but I've got a special a special package put together for, especially for wholesalers wanting to do pre foreclosures. All right. And when you click that button, that will take you where you can actually upgrade for $27. I've put a price tag of $27 on this. Okay. Now what this is, is this is a, this is a good mini course. Take about two hours really to get through it, but you get a advanced agreements package for wholesalers. Okay, so you can complete the deal assigning it away, all right? And I'm going to share with you tonight how that works, okay? So first of all, contracting with the seller, there's a folder in 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 this you'll find in the agreements package. This is what you're when you pull it up, this is what it looks like. Okay, in that upgrade, there's some videos, but then there's also this Agreements package, and then there's explanations of this in in written out form as well. And there's also explanations of the order in which you will use them typically in a sub two transaction. So let's just go through this briefly. Contracting the deal with the seller. Okay. Now this is all of the things that we just went through. So you can get all of these for free at realestatewholesalersclub.com. Now they are also included here in the upgrade, twenty seven dollars, but Let's look at the next folder, selling to investors, selling to retail buyers, using at a use at closing with the title company or the closing attorney. So we have three different folders here besides contracting it with the homeowner. So when we're going to assign our deal, okay, we're selling off our deal. Are we going to be selling it off to an investor or are we going to be selling it off to a retail person? or family or somebody that's going to be moving into the home and living there. Okay. So if you're going to be selling it to an investor, you want to go and use this package here. Okay. That's how you would lock up a deal with a investor buyer. So a lot of people here want, this is huge, everybody. Okay. So I hope you're catching the gravity of what I'm sharing. All right. Because this is how, if you, if you want to do subject to and take over house payments and get the deed, and then you want to turn around and sell it immediately to Pace Morby's investor group, then this is some paperwork that you might want to have. All right. It's an assignment of contract, and it's a, it's a sub-2 disclosure, okay? So sub-2 just disclosure, nothing big, nothing new, fancy, nothing anywhere here really new or fancy, but nice to have. You can see it's a little different looking than what you're used to. All right, but it's all there. All right, so that is how you would sell to an investor buyer. If you've got a property under contract subject to and you want to sell it off to an investor buyer, that's your package. Easy to do. In fact, if you get on there and you get this and then you get stuck filling out the paperwork on a deal, just schedule on my one-on-one -on -one counter and I will help you fill it out. For I'll... I'll, I'll Volunteer my time on that. All right. Selling to retail buyer. So if you are got a deal under contract, subject to, and you're going to sell it now to a couple, a family, a person, whoever, whomever is going to move in and live there. Okay. That's different than an investor buyer. An investor, they're not going to live there. If you're going to sell it to a retail buyer, this is the package for you. Okay. It's all included. And you can see here's a copy of an assignment agreement. Okay. It's a little different than the other, but similar. And here's another disclosure agreement right here. This is your package if you're selling to a retail buyer. Okay. Subject to. Now, are there other considerations that need to be taken into, 
it, it, you know, into consideration. Yes. <laughs> All right. Use this. Now the third, the other folder was the use this at closing folder. And you can see there's lender letters. There's lender notifications. There's memorandums of agreements. There's subject to disclosures. Again, not the same one. New ones that you'll use at closing where they reaffirm that they've been disclosed. Okay. And then there's also this particular document. And I want to spend a little time tonight talking about performance mortgage. Let's start right here. Okay. Protect the seller by having the closing agent. Okay. Now we're talking about selling your subject to deal to an investor or to a retail buyer. It doesn't matter when you're selling off your deal. Okay. You're, you're assigning it away. You're going to protect the homeowner by having the closing agent or title attorney prepare a performance mortgage for $1 in favor of your company. If the buyer defaults, you will be able to step in and protect the original seller's interest and foreclose on the property. The advantage is you'll have the house back to sell again, but the disadvantage is that you, in order to protect the seller, you may have to make some payments. This is called a performance mortgage. Now, I've put some things in here that are very important for you to consider when setting up this performance mortgage. And so I'll leave you to those. But now, let me draw a diagram. I want to I draw a diagram here because I think this may help you understand. If we have a homeowner and you're doing a subject to deal. So here's the homeowner, all right? And you're here as a wholesaler and you've got it under contract with the homeowner subject to, and you bring in a buyer. Give me a moment to draw the buyer. I'm a very, very intricate artist. If you're doing a subject to wholesale deal, the wholesaler here, he has a subject to agreement with the seller. So he has it under contract. Before he transfers the deed, he finds an end buyer, either a investor buyer or a retail buyer. And he lines up an assignment to close at the title company, just like an ugly house wholesaler would. The deed is going to transfer because it's subject to from the homeowner to the end buyers. The performance mortgage is going to be added on to the deed. Okay. They're still going to be paying the original mortgage as well. I mean, right for the homeowner's original mortgage. So the end buyer is going to be still paying the, because it's subject to, they're going to be paying the homeowner's mortgage for them. But now they're also going to see on the deed a performance mortgage placed for $1. Now that's supposed to represent $1. Now the holder of the the owner, you know, the the person that I uh that 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 is the technical lender here on the performance mortgage is going to remain the wholesaler. And he's going to have a performance mortgage for $1 that says that if these folks do not pay this guy's mortgage, it's an automatic default on this mortgage and this guy can step right back in and take the deal back over. Woo! You might have to hit replay. You might have to hit replay. Okay. That is how you would set up a performance mortgage. Let me share screens one more time and I'll break it down just slightly further for you. So you understand a performance mortgage should also have some of these ideas. Any default on that homeowner's mortgage, the first mortgage is a default on that one on a performance mortgage. 
A mortgage holder may, at their discretion, make defaulted payments to the first mortgage holder to cure the default. So see, it lets you step in and cure the problem in, instead of everybody losing out. Okay, so the wholesaler can, this is how a wholesaler sticks around without sticking around in a subject to. Okay, I hope you're hearing me. And this isn't, a, this isn't advanced stuff, I guess. This is why this is $27. Not everybody needs this, but the second mortgage cannot be satisfied until the first is paid in full. Okay, you see this? Are you, are you picking up what I'm laying down? If you want to add a time limit on the mortgage, simply state that the mortgages must be paid off in blank time. Okay, re require the borrower maintain hazard insurance. Require the insurance premiums and property taxes be escrowed. Do on sell clause. You don't want the buyer to be able to sell the house without the without. You don't want the buyer to be able to sell the house with this existing financing. So the, the all of this subject to stuff stops with me. Okay, nobody else. We're not going to daisy chain this on out down a hundred times. Okay, so I hope this is helpful for you. This has been a bit of an advanced class. I hope that it made sense for you. If not, go back and hit the replay a little bit because this performance mortgage stuff is real important for you if you're in the mind frame to wholesale some deals, especially in the subject to area. So now, first of all, and lastly, I want to remind you, you can go get free agreements over at realestatewholesalersclub.com. You can scan the QR code or you can just go to realestatewholesalersclub.com and go to the subject to how to subject to module. There's free agreements that will help you contract the homeowner there. But if you are a wholesaler and you want to wholesale subject to deals in this coming pre-foreclosure avalanche, 